Welcome back. Let's talk to Richard Hunter. He's the head of research at Wilson King. Richard, very good morning to you. Morning. Uh, the VIX index, I read a report this weekend, record lows, not just yearly lows, record lows, the fear index, okay. Are we becoming complacent? Are the, the markets, okay, not factoring geopolitical and the likes? They're, they've got an eye on them, but they're probably not factoring them, them in until something, um, something actually happens. Uh, be that in terms of the US presidential debacle, which which obviously goes on, or um, populism in Europe, which so far hasn't come to fruition. I think most professional investors would rather that the volatility index was a bit higher. Yep. Um, I think one of the things that's uh, driving the particularly low level at the moment is, is partially maybe uh, it's, uh, lower volumes, which is probably to be uh, expected at this time of the year. But of course, uh, we, we've also had this ongoing situation. If we look at uh, record low interest rates and and yields on bonds generally, uh, equities remains the uh, you know the investment destination of choice. So to some extent, um, the worries are, are rather less around the equity market, uh, and more of the focus has probably been in both the bond market and the currency market. But yes, I think it's fair to say on the whole, uh, it would be a slightly more relaxing time if if the uh, level was slightly higher than it is at the moment. And finally, fund managers lying on the beaches in Ibiza and the likes. Okay, From the last number of years we've had some wobbles in these summer periods. Do you see any? wobbles this summer? Um, I think what you will see is, um, again, as usual, lower volume tends to exacerbate market movements in, in either direction. Um, I suspect we will get some pressure coming along as we get some more detail coming out of the, the Brexit negotiations. Having said that, of course, half of Europe is, is now pretty much on, on holiday. Uh, for, for the month of August. So um, the, the danger of that is that the market starts to react to general news rather than finance news in the absence of anything else. So uh, it's probably worth keeping an eye out because any, any such movements will be exaggerated. And finally, are you off on holiday, sitting on the beach? No, not yet, not till much later, October. So uh, hopefully you know what sort of month October normally is in the market. So uh, I'll be on a beach at that, that point. That sounds like yeah. a very good tip for me. Richard, thank you very much indeed.